This video will explain the basic concepts of web testing with TestComplete. TestComplete makes it very easy to automate tests against web pages. The web testing functionality is provided by a special web testing plugin that's only included in the Enterprise Edition of TestComplete. Now, the test engine provides access to web page elements shown in Microsoft Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Netscape Navigator, or in Microsoft Web Browser Controls. And to understand how to work with web page elements, you can explore your web pages via TestComplete's object browser. So let's go ahead and do this. I've already got a web page loaded up right here. This is an orders application that's up on the Automated QA website. And what we're going to do is use TestComplete to learn more about this web page. So I'm going to switch back to TestComplete. So I'm going to switch back to TestComplete and switch over to this object browser panel. And this shows me all the processes and objects that are working on my system right now. So here's Internet Explorer. I'm going to expand this node. And now I'm going to find the page inside of my browser. And that object is right down here, this page object. And when I expand this page node, I can see all the controls that make up that particular web page. When I select a particular control, I can see in this panel on the right a list of all the properties that TestComplete can see for that particular control. In fact, we can see these basic properties right here, or we can click this link to see every property that exists for that particular control. One other thing to note is that the full path to that object is displayed up here inside the object browser panel. So if we need to access this particular element in script, we can just right click up here, say copy all, and then we can paste that right into our scripts. So we've demonstrated how you can explore a web page in the object browser, and now we'll learn how to add a browser to the TestComplete project, how to make TestComplete automatically open the desired web page in the browser at runtime, and how to record a test against a web page. Okay, so I've already created a new project here, and the first thing I'm going to do is right-click on this Tested Apps node, and I'm going to say Add New Item and I'm going to add a reference to the browser that I want to work with. So in my case, I want to work with Internet Explorer. So I would just browse out to where Internet Explorer lives on my file system, which in my case is C, Program Files, Internet Explorer. And I'd select this iExplorer.exe executable. Click the Open button. There we go. Now you can see TestComplete has added a reference to Internet Explorer here in my list of tested applications. And now the next thing I want to do is tell TestComplete what page I want the browser to go to when I launch the browser. And the way I can do that is by clicking on this ellipses button right here in the parameters column. And right here, I'm going to type in the URL to my website. Once I've got that typed in, I'll press OK. And you can see right here, TestComplete is keeping a reference to that web page. So when I launch the browser, we're going to go out to that URL. Okay, so we've got the tested app defined, and now what I'm going to do is start recording a test. So I'm just going to click the Record New Test button. Test Complete minimizes down to this small recording toolbar. And now what I want to do is tell Test Complete to launch my browser. So I'm going to expand the toolbar here. I'm going to click on the Run Tested Application button, and I'm going to tell Test Complete to launch Internet Explorer for me. So now Test Complete invokes IE, and you can see we go right out to our web page, right out to my uh, sample web page. You can see the URL in the background right there. So the first thing I'm going to do is log in to my site. Username of tester and the password of test. I'm going to click the login button. And now I'm going to edit the Paul Brown order. So I'm going to click the edit button right here. And now I'm just going to modify the product name and the customer name field here. Then we'll click Update, and now with my test case completed, I'm going to log out, close the browser down, and stop recording. Now Test Complete is going to take a moment and generate the commands based on a sequence of actions I just performed. Here they are. And this test contains all the actions that we performed during the course of the recording. So right here, our first line item is to invoke Internet Explorer. You can see we go out to our target URL. Here's where we're typing in our username and our password and we click login, and then again there's similar actions for each operation we performed during the course of the test. Okay, so now let's run our test. And to do that, I just need to click this Run Test button. 
And test complete is going to take over and perform that same sequence of actions that we just recorded. So it's invoked the browser, gone out to that URL, and then it's going to perform that same sequence of operations that we just performed. Okay, I fast forwarded a little bit. And after your test is finished, Test Complete displays its test results here in this test log panel. This panel provides us with detailed information about the actions that the test performed. For instance, this message right here tells us that we launched Internet Explorer. This line right here is telling us that we typed the word text into a particular field on screen. And you can see down here in the bottom part of the panel, you can actually see a picture of what was going on at runtime. This image on the left is what we were expecting to see in the application, and the image on the right is what we actually saw. Now this panel here on the right gives us some extra information about the test. As you can see, we have zero errors and zero warnings, and we can also see the start and end time for the particular test run. So this is great because we know that we had no errors or warnings in this particular test. This concludes our video on web testing with Test Complete. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the email addresses on your screen. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy automating your tests with Test Complete.